I am so delighted to bring to you a project that I have been hacking away on uh, for about the last couple weeks. Uh, it is called Ramp, R-A-M-P-P dot X-Y-Z. And I would love for you to try it out if you're looking to generate an ERC-721 smart contract for your next, you know, 5,000 NFT uh, token project or more. It could be more than that. Um, this is not clickbait. We will actually be generating a smart contract with a host of custom features in just a couple clicks and in as little as five minutes. Uh, so I'm starting from the total bare bones, like this is exactly what you should see when you onboard with Ramp. Uh, Ramp has a lot more stuff coming down the pipeline, but we'll get to that at the end. Let's just get into it right now and just get a contract written. So we'll go to launch a project and you know, your standard Ethereum login. Uh, you require MetaMask uh, for Ramp. Uh, and you see, once we log in, we're brought to our project page. Now this isn't much to look at, and that's to be expected because Ramp right now is in a beta. And so there's not gonna be much to offer right now in, uh, outside of the smart contract generator that's been built. Now in the future, you'll see when we click create a project, and instantly we will get a short uh, little summary of what our project is titled, the token for it, and then some instructions. Now two of these are coming soon, and that's bulk image uploading to IPFS with RAMP. Yeah, we're gonna allow you to do that, to have your images actually fully decentralized. However many you have, 5,000, 10,000, whatever you need, we'll have that bulk upload service for you. Ramp will be a one-stop shop for you to deploy your entire NFT project, but you still get to own it. And then the next thing is setting up a project landing page for people to go and be able to mint, right? Because like, you know, any NFT project has a website, regardless of how bare bones it might be, uh, to go and have the community pay and mint and get their tokens. We're gonna offer that as well. And then of course we have deploying to Rinkaby and deploying to mainnet, but we're here to write a contract. So let's just jump into the first step. Now you'll see we are instantly brought to this project information page. There are two fields here that are really important, but let's first just, you know, think about what we're gonna name it. So let's call this like example token contract or something, you know, let's just call it that. Example token contract and our token symbol will be example. Now these two fields are important. So until ramp is out of beta and fully functional, we don't host an API for all of your tokens to resolve to. So if you're not that technically minded, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're not that technically minded, you may have to ask a developer that you know to set up a very simple JSON API for each of your tokens. And the way that these URLs sh should look is a sum URL slash token ending with a slash because the smart contract is going to add a digit at the end of this string and that will resolve to some URL that resolves metadata. In the other tab, I've brought up an example of this. So this is from a project that many people have that many people know about called the Board Ape Yacht Club. And you can see that if we go to ipfs.io slash ipfs and then type in this long hash and then put in the number two, which is token two for this smart contract, we get a JSON hash that says image and then it leads us to another IPFS image that if we visited would show a picture of that monkey. So we're gonna kind of commandeer uh, their API, but just solely for an example. And let's just make the whole sure the whole thing is there and we're ending with a slash. And for this, let's just pretend that there's a contract.json somewhere in this. There may not be, but this would also be a uh, JSON metadata uh, information about your contract. There are standards depending on the marketplace, but in general, this is where the this is how these two are URLs are constructed. Now, this is the real meat and potatoes of Ramp. This is just a couple features. We have many more lined up, but these are the ones that we're launching with. So we have only owner minting, which would basically mean no public mints. Nobody besides the person who deploys this contract, so which would be us, can. Uh, mint from this contract. We don't want that. We want it public. 
allow listing mode, also known as whitelisting. So if you want to open up a private mint for a select number of addresses that you add to your smart contract, you would want to enable this. Uh, and then allow minting on deployment. So we have a smart contract and let's say we want to pre-release the contract early because we're busy working on other stuff on the back end, like the busy artist that you are. Well, with this, you'd probably want to turn it off because we don't want to allow people to be able to mint tokens when our contract immediately gets deployed because we're not ready yet. The sale isn't live. But for our example, we're going to want this true. Token supply. If you have a public mint, you're probably going to want a token supply because if you're making 5,000 NFTs and someone mints 5,001, that last person is going to be very angry. So let's just change this to like 500 for now. We're just going to have a token supply of 500 for our example. Minting fee. Now this is the one that people really get excited about. When people mint from your contract, you can have them charge an additional fee on top of gas. You don't have to have this. You can have a totally gas only contract and that is 100% okay. But with this mint fee, what we're gonna have here is have everyone that wants to mint a NFT pay us 0.01 ETH. But paying us, what does that mean? Yeah, that's right, you get paid from your contract. Your contract kind of acts like a bank, and that's what this payouts tab is for. So as because Ramp provides this functionality, we only take 5% of whatever is in the contract balance. That's it. That's all it ever takes. Every other service is totally free to you. Now, to make sure that you also get paid, your address or the person who's deploying it has, had, has been pre-filled and gets the other 95%. If we wanted to, we could add another address here where you would just copy paste in an Ethereum address and then make sure that all these numbers add up to 100. But we're gonna not do that right now. We're just gonna go and generate our contract. Now, we're gonna click generate example contract. This function is gonna take three minutes. It might finish while I'm still speaking about it, but what's happening right now is that the compiler is going through and generating your custom smart contract. And we can even review the code. The, all the code is given to you and everything is open source about this project. Ramp very, very much subscribes to the idea that we are a tool for you to own your project, to fully own it. Because when you deploy on OpenSea, you actually don't even get to own your token. You can't charge a mint fee. You can't uh, close listing. You can't do a lot of the things that make a real big NFT project worthwhile to, uh, I guess you would say, the community or the investors of that project. So I'll cut back whenever this smart contract process is done, and we'll go through the results. Okay, and so now we're back. You can see that actually from the timestamp, it actually took pretty much about dead on three minutes. And if you'll see, we have here our example token contract, contract, because I put contract in the name, it did put contract twice. So uh, rookie mistake, I suppose. But you can see we can go and open up the Solidity file that we're gonna be deploying. And wow, everything is there. The, all the code for the world to see, and you own it. And you'll see here are our functions, here are uh, you know these payable addresses that we're gonna be adding, the uh, admin minting function, which of course does not impose a fee because you should always be able to mint for free. Um, and then the public minting function, which is, we're going to make sure that they're below the supply cap and also that minting is open and also that the person has paid the proper amount to be able to mint. Um, if there was a whitelisting in this function, we would have more added functionality for that and also an ability for you to change the price in the future should you wanna bring your mint price down, maybe because you set it accidentally too high. Um, this abi.json, this is not really important, but I'm giving it to you because we will need it to verify the contract. But let's just move on to the next step and deploy this to testnet. That's right, from ramp, you can just deploy to testnet and then even more so, just deploy directly to mainnet, all from ramp. No trying to interface with uh, Remix or Etherscan or any complicated uh, kind of setup for deployment. You just do it here. So as you can see, we're going to want to change to the Rinkaby net right now because if I look at my wallet, we're on the main net. So we can just click this button right here and it should prompt us to change to the Rinkaby test network. We're now on the Rinkaby test network and also I am apparently a Rinkaby whale because I have 54 ETH because I do a lot of testing. 
So what we can do next is deploy our contract to Rinkeby. So let's just click this button and instantly we'll get some gas estimates, which you can see are laughably low um, on Rinkeby. On mainnet, this number will probably be more along the lines of two or 3,000. But anyway, let's go and deploy our contract. So you can see, uh, you know, obviously we have begun the transaction, but we don't have a contract address yet. Address yet. But as you can just see, confirm transaction, we click on this and oh, clicked on it twice, my bad close okay once this gets indexed it's going to be able to tell us what the hash of our contract address is and that pretty much is going to tell ramp hey uh in the future when we we have a kind of web interface for us to just easily set the price and add people to the whitelist and do all of this other stuff you'll be able to do all of that from ramp that doesn't exist yet in beta but it will exist whenever we launch but we're gonna need an address to interface with, and as you can see, we just got one. So let's copy this contract address and pop it in there and update the contract address. Okay, and so now this is the really cool part, okay? When we go to this contract in Etherscan, what is this? What is all these numbers? That's right. Whenever you go to Etherscan, some people are nice and they will open source their code and with ramp i really want to encourage people to do that because it's a good way to build trust with your community because you know you can't rug pull a community if they know what your code does right so that's kind of what i am hoping to enforce here is to put more open source code out there and also show people how powerful ramp is but to do that we can actually just start clicking uh, etherscan to begin your contract uh, begin verifying your contract. Now this link will automatically fill in and automatically select everything you need to do. Uh, you'll need to turn optimization to yes, which I believe is the second step. And then it says copy your contract source code. So we'll open up this into a new tab. Control A, go here, Control V. And then third, copy this string to the constructor arguments input. So here we are back here constructor arguments input right there and then you know as far as I'm concerned I'm not a robot so if we click verify and publish we should be able to just wait a couple moments and then what's gonna happen is etherscan is now gonna allow everybody and us to just be able to interact with our contract see what the source code looks like uh, read parameters from it that are readable it's just gonna be the greatest and as you can see we can go to our contract now and we should be able to have a little green check mark, which is awesome. People are gonna love that. And then you can go through the whole source code, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's the same stuff that we just showed you. Um, and here are those two little URLs that we added earlier, right? And here's that contract URI that we made up. Um, but we can go to read contract. And I mean, from here, the world's our oyster, really. Uh, base token URI, chain ID, the name of the token, the owner of a specific token. I mean, all of the stuff you would expect from a let's see is this even a token oh yeah and so look now look we can even get a token uri from this so all the stuff you would expect with the erc 21 and then because ramp doesn't have a interface right now you can actually connect to web3 on etherscan this is safe i do vouch for it um and you could you know uh mint to like uh, well actually we're an admin so we'd probably want to do mint to admin and we could put in an address here and airdrop somebody a token uh or an nft i'm sorry uh, well, I guess technically both. Um, there are two functions here that I want to be completely transparent about is withdraw all and withdraw all ramp. Now, ramp can only ever get paid 5% of the contract balance. That number is non editable and cannot be changed. So you don't have to worry about anything like that happening. The only thing that ramp can do once your contract is deployed is to hit this button, which all it does is pay itself its 5% if the contract owner hasn't emptied the balance of the contract yet. That's it. That's the only permission that Ramp has on this entire contract. And that right there is just so they can be sure that they get paid, so that Ramp is sure that it gets paid. But you can see that now, you know, yeah, like, you know, we're verified, we're live, baby. Like, that's it, you know? Let's, uh, let's go look what mainnet looks like. So you'll see, obviously, deploy contract to Rinkaby. We have a check mark now. It's awesome. Now, 
here comes the, I guess, uh, unfortunate news. Now, of course, the first thing we gotta do is switch to mainnet. So let's do that, okay? Now we're on mainnet. Now, when it comes to mainnet, there are some things that, you know, ramp in total just wants to make sure that you agree to and i've already kind of explained them to you on this video which is that ramp can withdraw withdraw uh force withdraw from the co contract and also that ramp makes runny off of the royalties that are paid to the contract uh from the mint fee and from secondary sales and that also you can't modify the payout addresses once they are set uh you just a checkbox and you click to that same process though uh, validation works exactly the same um, and we just pretty much need to pay to mint this contract so let's see let's see what this looks like right now yeah it's around two thousand dollars USD uh, to launch this you know very bare bones simple contract and that is not something that is a complexity factor of the contract it actually is just gas fees on ethereum right now so when it comes to launching with ramp you know there's a lot that we can do uh you know this is just the beta um if you do happen to try the beta i would love to hear your feedback it would mean a lot to me and additionally uh you know with that being said we can expect probably some you know some bugs here and there and obviously the ui leaves a lot to be desired but Hopefully this tool is one of the first stepping stones in really changing the game for artists, making it to where you don't have to hire developers like me anymore, which would honestly be kind of nice. I would love if artists could just take projects in their own hands and just really just, you know, run it with the vision. Um, but yeah, you can feel free to join right now and try to make a contract and, you know, let me know how that goes. If you have any questions, you can click this little... Uh, icon in the bottom right and you can talk directly to me I'll be responding you can comment on this video uh, you can at me on Twitter um, in fact actually uh, this whole this whole project has its own Twitter uh, ramp DAO because in the future ramp will be a uh, will be a DAO and yeah we've got big plans big big plans so I'm really hoping you love this project we literally made a con it, uh, most of the contract time was waiting for it to compile but Honestly, other than that, we were already good to go. So yeah, today we wrote, we literally made a smart contract in you know about three minutes, deployed it on Rinkaby, and then could have deployed it on Mainnet, but we don't really have the funds for that. Uh, maybe in the future though. Uh, that being said, that is all I have to present for Ramp today. I really hope everybody likes it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you hate. Uh, and until next time, uh, thank you.